when we talk about Rwanda, often Australia comes into the equation for the perceived success that they've had in deterring illegal migrants. We can speak now to the former Minister of Foreign Affairs in Australia, Alexander Downer. Alexander, what do you make of how we here in Britain are dealing with this compared to how Australia dealt with their own illegal crossings crisis? Well, I think the um, so-called Rwanda solution is the right solution. We found offshore processing in our case in an island in the South Pacific called Nauru, which is an independent country worked and worked incredibly well because it destroyed the business model of the people smugglers. Uh, but there are always legal problems and the um, British government has spent two years now trying to get this, uh, th this scheme working. And that has involved one roadblock after another of a legal kind. So um, they have to get all their, their legal ducks in a row and uh, up until now they haven't succeeded in doing that. But I assume if they pass this bill, uh, which, um, as your political commentator said, will eventually pass, then um, that will give the Rwanda scheme a chance of working. I think it's a chance of working because actually the, the number of people that, they can, that can be held in Rwanda is such a tiny percentage of the people who are coming here uh, illegally in the first place. It sounds as no, though, no. Alexander, you, you think it's a good idea in principle if it can work. Yeah, I mean, it, the, the Rwandans haven't placed... It's not, not true. The Rwandans have not placed an upper limit on the number. Uh, but the second thing to say is that, you know, although whatever the number is for the last year, 23, 24,000 people came that way, um, if the business model of the people smugglers is destroyed, you won't get many more coming at all. You won't have to send many people to Rwanda if um, it's demonstrated that the Rwanda scheme is, is going to be sustainable. I mean, when I say not sustainable, what would make it not sustainable is continual le uh, legal leakage. And so the government has to make sure that it's, it's covered all of the legal loopholes. But if the legal loopholes are covered, then I think it will work and it will work really well. There's no question of that. The, uh, the British government obviously looked at Australia and thought, right, we, we want to take this idea and make it work for us. But there are just big geographical differences, aren't there, in terms of uh, how the migrants are getting here, the distances that they have to trouble, travel, where they're supposed to be sent to Rwanda as opposed to an independent state close to Australia. There's the lack of international waters between uh, the French uh, and, and the British in the English Channel as well. So, so these kind of, as well as the political and legal problems with this bill, there are also geographical ones as well, aren't there? Um, the geographical issues are not, um, in, the, in the main, very significant except for one, and that is that Australia has occasionally turned back boats, and you can only turn back boats legally in international waters, and between England and France, as you know, um, there is no international, at least at some point, there is no international waterway. Um, the maritime boundaries of the two countries um, collide with each other. Um, so uh, between Australia and Indonesia, there is some international waterway. So you can turn the boats back, you, you intercept and turn the boats back there. That is the one big difference. But, I mean, I don't think other than that um, there is there is any major difference. So I would say you can't turn back the boats in the channel. That's not practical. Um, but you can send people to Rwanda just as we sent people to Nauru. We don't send any more to Nauru um, because they don't come anymore. Mm. Um, it's as simple as that. The Nauru, um, uh, the Ru the Ru Ru Nauru processing centre has been put on hold now. Mm. Alexander, hold right there. Peter's still in the studio with us. Alexander has laid out a theory here which says if you can close all those legal loopholes mm -hmm. and you start sending migrants to Rwanda, that stops the trade which says, OK, it's financially lucrative for us to literally ferry people across the channel. The problem is the timeline. If they manage to clear all of these legal loopholes, can the Conservative government action this before a next general election and potentially they lose power? Well, I think it's all of those things. Uh, I don't think they can do it before the next general election. They might, uh, but Rishi Sunak was asked repeatedly last week, about 10 days ago at a press conference at Downing Street that I was at, 
Um, people kept asking, when are the flights going to take off? When are they going to Rwanda? Will it be before the next election? He couldn't put a timeline on that. Obviously, things have slipped in mm. terms of the Lords and so on. But the other question is capacity with Nauru that, uh, that uh, we were being t talked about there a minute ago. I mean, there are only 500 people maximum going to Rwanda under this deal and £240 million pounds of taxpayers' money has already been spent on it. It is a messy policy. There's a lot uh, still to be worked out, certainly today in the House of Lords, and in future months by the government in Number 10 and uh, in the Commons. Alexander, we've just run out of time, but just one word answer to this question. If the government is able to get the Rwanda bill through and starts sending illegal migrants and asylum seekers to Rwanda. Do you think that policy will work and will act as a deterrent to the people smugglers? Yes, it will. It won't only act as a deterrent. It will destroy the people smugglers' business model. People will not pay business smugglers uh, to go from France to Rwanda. They're already in France. They would rather stay in France in the main. Maybe some would rather go to Rwanda, but they'd probably rather stay in France. Mm. Alexander, thank you so much. Peter, thank you to you as well.